guys, so I'm starting off with day old hair and I'm dousing it with just a little bit of water just so that the products will absorb better into my hair. I'm using all the products that I typically use on a regular finger coil tutorial. So if you guys would like to know more about the products, I will leave them listed in the description box below. The Eco Styler is the only product that I don't typically use in my finger coil tutorials. I'm just using it because I have so much of it. The technique is actually really easy. All I do is I twist it at the root and then I simply twirl my finger around my hair. Hold it with my opposite hand and continue twirling all the way down. Probably easier if you guys just see what I'm doing other than me explaining it, but I tried as best as possible. Then at the end, I scrunch to encourage curl definition. The first coil was unraveling, so I went back and I recoiled that one. Then I continued to do the same thing throughout my hair. I let it air dry for the next three hours. I just coat a bit of coconut oil on my hands just so I don't create any unnecessary frizz and I begin unraveling the coils. I immediately noticed a few differences. For one, my coils were definitely more elongated and also it was a little bit more difficult for me to unravel the coils. I definitely love the fact that it only took three hours for my hair to dry. I do like the original way to finger coil the hair which is on soaking wet hair so I can do a updated video on that but for now you guys can see the old video that I recorded it's still pretty much the same way that I finger coil my hair on dripping wet hair so you guys can click in the description box below or by tapping the eye above so what I have concluded is if you want length then do it on dry hair but if you want volume then do it on wet hair Well, that is all that I have for you today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.